Yo, what is up everybody? It's your boy Mizan and we are back with another travel vlog. This time, we're taking you on a shopping spree in the beautiful city of Chiang Mai, Thailand. Chiang Mai is renowned for its unique handicrafts and vibrant markets. Unlike Bangkok's luxury malls, Chiang Mai offers a more cultural shopping experience with its open-air markets, boutique shops, and artisan workshops. In this video, I'm going to show you the 10 best places to go shopping in Chiang Mai. Let's do this! All right, first up, we're starting strong at the Tha Pei Sunday Walking Street, also known as the Chiang Mai Walking Street. If you're only in Chiang Mai for a short time, this is the market to visit. The whole city comes alive on Sunday evenings. Located on Ratchatam Noan Road, it stretches for what feels like miles. You'll find everything from handcrafted jewelry to traditional Thai clothing. The energy is electric with street performers and live music. Be ready for the crowd. Tons of people, both locals and tourists, all looking for unique finds. As the sun sets, colorful lanterns light up the place. So make sure you come hungry. Tha Pei Sunday Walking Street is a must-do when you're in Chiang Mai. Next up, we have another iconic shopping destination, the Chiang Mai Night Bazaar. It's open every single night and it's absolutely buzzing with activity. The Night Bazaar kicks off at Tha Pei Road and continues south towards Loi Kro. Unlike the Sunday Walking Street, which is mostly focused on handicrafts, the Night Bazaar offers a wider range of products. You'll find everything from clothing and souvenirs to electronics and even some quirky, unexpected finds. One thing I love about the Night Bazaar is the atmosphere. It's lively, it's chaotic, it's a sensory overload in the best way possible. Plus, when you need a break from shopping, there are tons of street food vendors and restaurants where you can grab a bite to eat. The Night Bazaar is open from 5 p.m. to midnight, so you can easily spend a whole evening here just wandering around. Okay, now for those of you who prefer a more laid-back vibe, I gotta tell you about Walai Walking Street, also known as the Walai Saturday Walking Street. It's like the cooler, more relaxed cousin of the Sunday market. This market is located near the old city walls, which adds to the whole charming atmosphere. You'll find a lot of handmade crafts, unique clothing, and vintage finds here. But what really sets Walai apart is the focus on local artists and designers. You'll meet some really talented people selling their own creations, whether it's hand-painted bags, quirky jewelry, or one-of-a-kind clothing pieces. Another thing I love about Walai is the food. They have a huge selection of delicious street food stalls, but they also have these cute little cafes and bars where you can sit down, relax, and enjoy some live music. The market usually gets going around late Saturday afternoon and continues until about 10.30 p.m. All right, for this next one, we're heading a bit outside of the city center, about nine kilometers east to be exact, to a place called Bo Sang Umbrella Village. Now, this place is a must visit for anyone who appreciates traditional craftsmanship. As the name suggests, Bo Sang is famous for its handmade paper umbrellas. I'm talking about intricate designs, vibrant colors, and some serious artisan skills. It's pretty incredible to see the whole process from start to finish. You can watch the locals handcraft these umbrellas using traditional methods that have been passed down for generations. You'll find everything from classic floral patterns to depictions of Chiang Mai's rural scenery. And the best part is, you can actually buy these umbrellas. They make for such unique and beautiful souvenirs. Bo Sang Village also has a bunch of shops selling other handicrafts like lanterns, fans, and paintings. It's a really cool cultural experience and a nice change of pace from the hustle and bustle of the city center. Okay, now let's switch gears a bit and head back to the city center, specifically to Shiroen Rat Road, which runs along the Ping River. This area is known for its charming boutique shops housed in these beautifully renovated wooden shop houses. Now these shop houses are architectural treasures, some of them over a century old, and they add so much character to the whole shopping experience. These boutiques specialize in Lana art and crafts, which is specific to Northern Thailand. I'm talking about handcrafted jewelry, unique home decor, traditional textiles, and one-of-a-kind pieces you won't find anywhere else. It's much more relaxed and laid back compared to the bustling markets. You can take your time browsing the shops, chatting with the owners, who are usually the artists themselves, 
and really appreciate the craftsmanship. Plus, the Riverside location is a huge bonus. It's a great place to spend an afternoon just soaking in the local culture and finding those special one-of-a-kind souvenirs. All right, guys, this next one is a real gem, and it's one of my personal favorites in Chiang Mai The House by Ginger. This place is more than just a shop. It's an experience. Located on Moon Muang Road, it's a beautifully renovated home turned vibrant restaurant and shop. Inside, you're greeted with an explosion of colors and patterns. They offer kitchenware, Thai-inspired furniture, clothing, accessories, and art. I love their eclectic mix of styles. Beautiful, minimalist pieces and bold, colorful items. Their restaurant serves delicious Thai dishes and refreshing drinks. Check out their courtyard. It's a peaceful oasis in the city. The perfect place to find a unique gift for yourself or someone special. Okay, now we're heading out of the city again, this time to San Kampeng District, which is about a 30-minute drive from Chiang Mai. San Kampeng is famous for one thing in particular, Thai silk. If you're looking for high-quality silk products, this is the place to be. The main road, Chiang Mai San Kampeng Road, is lined with shops and mini factories selling all sorts of silk goods. You can find everything from beautiful silk scarves and clothing to home decor items like cushion covers and table runners. And trust me, the quality here is top notch. You'll also find a great selection of other handicrafts here, like lacquerware, ceramics, and those iconic brightly colored umbrellas. Pro tip, if you're in Chiang Mai on a Saturday, check out the San Kampeng Saturday Walking Street. Whether you're a serious shopper or just looking to browse, a trip to San Kampeng is a great way to experience the craftsmanship of Northern Thailand. All right, let's be real. Sometimes you just need a break from the heat and the crowds, and you want to experience a more modern side of Chiang Mai. That's where Maya Lifestyle Shopping Center comes in. Located on Neiman Road, Maya is a popular spot for locals, especially the younger crowd and university students. It's a modern, air-conditioned mall with everything you'd expect. Fashion stores, restaurants, cafes, a cinema, and even a rooftop with bars offering awesome city views. Maya is a great place to find trendy clothing, international brands, and those little everyday essentials you might need. Plus, they have a great selection of restaurants from international chains to local Thai favorites. And let's not forget about the rooftop. It's a great spot to grab a drink, enjoy the sunset, and get some amazing views of the city. So, even if you're not a big mall person, Maya is worth checking out, even if it's just for the rooftop experience. Okay, this next one is for those of you who are short on time, or maybe just need to do some last minute souvenir shopping before heading to the airport. Central Chiang Mai Airport, also known as Airport Plaza Chiang Mai, is conveniently located within walking distance of the airport. This is a massive complex with five floors of shops, restaurants, and entertainment options. You'll find everything here from international brands to local Thai brands, electronics, books, home decor, you name it. They also have a great selection of souvenirs, so if you haven't had a chance to pick up those gifts for friends and family, this is a good place to do it. Another great thing about Central Chiang Mai Airport is the food court. It's huge and offers a wide variety of cuisines, so you're sure to find something to satisfy your cravings. So, whether you're looking for last-minute souvenirs, a quick bite to eat, or just want to do some duty-free shopping, Central Chiang Mai Airport has got you covered. All right, for our final stop, we're going to a market that's a bit off the beaten path, but trust me, it's worth the trip. Wararat Market, also known as Kad Luang, is a local market that's popular with both locals and in-the-know tourists. This market is a bit different from the others on our list. It's not as polished or touristy. It's a real working market where locals come to do their everyday shopping. But that's what makes it so special. You'll find everything here from fresh produce, spices and street food to clothing, household goods and even electronics. One of the things Wararat Market is known for is its food. They have a huge selection of ready-to-eat meals, local snacks, and fresh fruit. If you're looking for an authentic market experience, a taste of local life, and some of the best street food in Chiang Mai, Wararat Market is a must-visit. So there you have it, guys. 
my top 10 picks for the best places to go shopping in Chiang Mai. From the bustling night markets to the charming riverside boutiques, you're sure to find some unique treasures to take home with you. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it and hit that subscribe button for more travel tips and vlogs. Until next time, happy shopping, peace out.